Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the energy here for the week ahead. Um, this energy is, we're transitioning. We're transitioning into May. We're already in Taurus season, but we are changing months. We're going into May and I feel like April went by so quickly. March seemed to have taken its time <laughs> going by, but April went by so quickly. Um, the energy that I'm seeing here for the week ahead is talks about endings. And I think that has kind of been the theme for the last few readings I've done. So it's in the energy here. Um, when we talk about endings, it's not just relationships, although it could be. Um, this could also be an energy here of making a significant ending or transition into something else, work life school life, um, family life, family situations. This could have been a situation that has been plaguing you. Now it could be relationships too. Um, but it's showing me here that it's time for you to let something go and to then be patient and let the energy do what it's going to do. Right. Um, I'm also getting this energy of needing to be kind to yourself while you're going through some sort of transition or transformation or ending because you are evolving and you may not be able to see where you're going or the finish line and you just need to kind of trust the process of what is happening um, in order for things to flow and realign the way they need to for you, okay? So let's take a look here at this energy for the week ahead. So from the fairy tarot, let's get started. Holy Spirit, Spirit guys and angels, please allow me to deliver a clear message here for the Aries Collective. So we have here release, number 13. This is the death card here in the tarot. It says, let go of the past, an ending that makes way for new opportunities. Time to move on. Time to move on from a situation. From the wisdom of the oracle, you, number 29, you have breathe. Breathe. I'm going to read that. From the monology, you have process your feelings. Process your feelings. You have celebration. Moon dance here. And you have out of bounds or boundaries. Boundaries. Okay. Okay. We have also from these, what is this? The power of love activation cards, evolution. And it says, you realize that obstacles are merely lessons on your path to love. All right, let's take a look. So we have breathe number 29. Let's read that in the wisdom of the Oracle here. All right, Aries. So it says, Patience, waiting, going slowly, wellness, meditation, and trust. Patience in all things is called for right now. What do you need to do when you're in a rush? Slow down, of course. Meditate and trust, breathe and repeat. Humans cannot exist without drawing breath. Now is the time to allow the life-giving element of air to replenish your body, your being, and your very essence. Stop to smell the roses, breathe in the sunlight and release the darkness and miracles will appear. Beautiful energy there. Um, I'm going to read the relationship message here for this too. Okay. It says, don't be in too much of a hurry right now. The heart needs time to open. Take a breath and let nature take its course. Release constriction and anxiety for there is no need for tension savor the moment and the waiting won't prove difficult your heart knows what the ego often resists learning patience pays off in deep and meaningful ways all right and i guess i should read the prosperity message too it says you have worked long and hard your dreams are coming to fruition and you want to hurry things along you are the slow one moving um guidedly yet still progressing about right now in a rhythm dictated by your authentic nature, the essence of your dream, and the will of the universe, slow and steady wins the race. You will indeed win if you relax, okay? Stay the course, trust your intuition, and breathe. All right, I like that, okay. So everything's talking about breathing, breath work, meditation, slowing down, going within. Oh Lord, dropping cards. Going within. I'm seeing here Ooh, a lot of cards, but I'm seeing the emperor down there. All right. So let's take a look here for Aries, sun, moon, Venus, and rising. So Aries, I'm going to pull a card from the angel answers. 
So if you have a question of some sort here and you need some guidance directly from source here, be thinking about that right now. All right, so let's take a look here. This is for Aries. Give us one card here about the situation that they need to know about. Let's see here. So situation here, not the right time, okay? Not the right time. And at the bottom of the deck actually says get more information. Get more information. All right, so let's take a look here and see what's coming towards Aries this week. This is just the energy here coming towards Aries this week. Please take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. all these cards slipping it god i'm about to die all right <laughs> lord slip it out of my hand all right let's do one more shuffle since i found the floor all right let's see here what do we have here for aries sun moon venus and whoo this flipped right out. Courtship. It did flip in reverse. We'll take a look at that and see if that means anything there. What do we have here? We have pathway. Now, some of you, there could be a breakup or an ending of a relationship that you need to um, let go, right? Judication, right in the center of the reading. Let me tell you, I always do a pre-shuffle with the Kipper just to see what's going to come out the next time. And this card did come out. Not only did it come out again, but it came out in the same exact place. Same exact placement. It was the third card. Um, let's see what else. Coffin came out as well, which I'm not surprised because the overall energy is release, number 13, or the death card, which is transformations, ending that brings new beginnings. Give me one more here for Aries. What is the energy for this week? Also, this came out. Community. Now, this did flip in reverse. So I'm going to talk, um, take a look at that. I'm seeing lovers. Okay. Let's just pull spirit. Can we see anything that correlates with the five cards that I pulled out? Can you give me more information on the five cards that I pulled out from my deck before I go to the tarot from the five cards that I pulled out? Let's see. Lovers and friends. Lovers and friends. Lovers and friends or lovers going to friends. Okay, maybe we're better off just friends. That could be a situation. There could also be a friend who wants to date you or is finding interest in you. Let's see here about these cards that came out here. Have faith, your intuition, uh, your situation, excuse me. Have faith, your situation is changing. That's that pathway energy here. Money decreasing due to bad habits or negative energy around you. Let's take a look. I don't know if that wanted to come out, but I'm going to take it. Car issues, repairs needed, check engine light, image. All right, give me two more. Protection work is needed. All right. Last card. Yep. STD, beware. So sexually or spiritually transmitted disease. Be careful who you're connecting with. Um, be careful who you're connecting with in a spiritual sense, who you're asking to do spiritual work for you, even readings for you, okay? You can't trust every reader, and I'm speaking from experience, okay? I'm speaking from experience, not obviously not me, but like I've had readers that you cannot trust. So be careful you know, who you're connecting with. Make sure that you, you're feeling, you're trusting your intuition, right? Make sure you're trusting your intuition about the people that you connect with. But there is a sense of, now I'm going to take a look because it says protection work is needed. So that could be connected to someone that you may have dated or someone that you have left behind. You, you know what I mean? Like somebody you dumped or broke up with because that is, I'm seeing that with the courtship card. Okay. Tucking that in. All right. So let's see here. This is for Aries. Let's take a look and see what is going on here with these Kipper cards for the week ahead. What is this energy coming towards in Aries that they need to know about?
I'm seeing the sun wanting to come out. What is the energy here for Aries? It's wanting to come out. Magician at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. All right, tell me about courtship. Seven of Wands wanting to come out. Tell me about the courtship card. Five of Cups. So that did come out in reverse. Uh, disappointments, breakups, arguments. Um, somebody who's regretful, remorseful about losing you. Maybe that may be coming towards you or you are breaking up or leaving someone behind. And there is some sort of sadness around this. Again, Seven of Wands there. The pathway, Spirit. Tell me about the pathway. I'm seeing about the Four of Pentacles. This could be the energy here of needing to save, right? Save money, save finances, um, needing to hold back. But with the with the pathway, I was about to say with the, the 35, with the pathway here, that talks about light at the end of the tunnel. So it may be, there may be some sort of release or help coming in, okay? Um, you're going to be seeing the truth of a situation. Uh-huh, I remember. Okay, money decreasing due to bad habits or negative energy. But there's light at the end of the tunnel. So maybe this is a situation that has been going on where you've been feeling like your money or something has been being attacked. This is, there's something coming out. There's some sort of truth or there's some sort of... Um, clarity around that okay light at the end tell me about the judication three of pentacles so for judication and three of pentacles obviously judication is legal situations right judgments in a sense and it doesn't always have to be coming from a particular court it could be a judgment at work a decision here to increase your finances there could be some sort of legal decision that's coming in that will give you an increase or a boost in your finances the three of pentacles talks about recognition rewards collaboration expansions teamwork right building and working together so you could find some sort of solution to a problem or a situation in court tell me about the coffin energy here for aries temperance the card of patience so again breathe is kind of the same energy the overall energy here spirit is wanting you to be patient with a situation this is also healing right so there could have been a situation that has ended and you slowly but surely you're transmuting that energy you are healing you are transforming um you are also protected as i wanted to say what came out the sun exactly okay the temperance here and the sun so there is something very positive coming here after an ending now it could have been a death as well but it seems like there's some sort of light at the end of the tunnel there's some sort of situation where it's a it doesn't feel like a death necessarily because it feels like there's some sort of happy ending and then we have the tower here clarifying this as well so you have three major arcanas this is very significant i'm getting chills just as i'm realizing that I think that's why they wanted me to see this is that there is some sort of, yes, the temperance could be healing, but it's also patience, maybe patience here while situation is balancing out or there's something here that is coming to light. I'm also wanting to say something had to end in order for a, a beautiful new beginning to begin, but you possibly, you don't recognize that yet. And I'm seeing Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Tell me about the tower. Yep. There it is, right on the money. Tower is being clarified by the Ace of Swords. So there is a new beginning coming in after something has ended. But it also, this new beginning is also bringing you clarity. It's like clarity of why a situation had to end. Also, maybe even the truth of a situation, okay? This is all clarifying the coffin. We got the tower. We got the temperance. We got the uh, sun card. You know, this also could be like a situation where I'm getting, let's say something happened and I'm just going to use this as an example. Maybe somebody passed away and there was some sort of, um, medical, um, malpractice and you had to be very patient for the truth to come out, but it's coming out and everything that you knew all along. And I'm just using that as an example, everything that you knew all along was, was, um, verified was, you know, it came out like you felt in your heart, something wasn't done right. Maybe experts were telling you that it was done right and you were like, no, and you had to be patient or you are being patient or you have been, right? Well, all of a sudden this truth, something happens here very suddenly and shockingly where the truth comes out is exposed and this ends in your favor with the sun card here. Now that's an example, but you can apply that to anything, right? Where you felt like there was some sort of wrongful ending, right? And you pursued it, you pursued the truth 
and it's coming out and it's coming out in your favor the sun is a very positive card when it talks about you know um things coming out okay being exposed tell me about the community community we have the knight of swords now this did feel like it came out in reverse we got the three of wands community knight of swords three of wands two of pentacles Somebody may have to turn, ooh, wow, and just when I say that, I'm seeing the Ten of Swords. Somebody may have to turn their back on a, com a particular community or group of people. There could be some gossip or harsh words being said about you behind your back. And it is causing, it really, honestly, it could be causing some sort of imbalance within your finances, financially. Um, it could even be mentally, mental health, physically, you know, but I'm seeing here with the Ten of Swords. This is an energy of something here needing to end. Very like look at that nine of swords. Somebody stressing somebody out. Tell me about this energy. And the death card. There's the ending, right? Major ending here. Death card, ten of swords. Wow. But the death card and the ten of swords means that something that was painful or aggravating or hurtful is coming to an end. So something that was hurting or harmful is ending. The two of pentacles here says there was an imbalance. Three of wands is turning your back here. And the Knight of Swords. Tell me about this Knight of Swords energy. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. I knew it. I knew it, child. I knew it. The devil. Somebody is... I knew it. This is somebody here, maybe in your job, your workplace, your community here. They're spewing things. They're very angry. They're spewing hate. This could be the energy here of spell work. We always think of spell work as candles and voodoo and all this other stuff but if somebody is saying things hurtful harmful speaking things over you to try to bind you to try to keep you stuck trying to keep you trapped in a sense right that could be very hurtful and harmful very hurtful and harmful hurtful and harmful with the ten of swords here causing endings causing job loss causes money loss with the two of pentacles instability here i'm seeing here though with the death card and the three of wands there is a change coming there is the death card is saying that all of this is ending all right all of it is ending even if they were successful for a little while and trying to hurt harm you take you down or create an imbalance in your life it's ending and it's changing with the wheel of fortune here it is changing something is ending and changing and the wheel of fortune means a positive shift a positive change for the better okay uh let's clarify yeah queen of pentacles that could be who it is or this could be about your finances virgo towards capricorn energy nine of pentacles came out it came out in reverse so somebody maybe have was trying to affect 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 your um your finances the five of wands here so that means they could be playing with you at work i don't know business type of situations the five of wands somebody is very angry very angry very competitive um trying to create drama um let me see here look at that ace of pentacles it looked like it came in reverse somebody it's like a community thing it could be a spiritual community it could be a job situation somebody here was trying to affect your finances and i feel like that's kind of what this is about money decreasing due to bad habits or negative energy around you protection work is needed um have faith your situation is changing spiritually transmitted disease i'm always telling you guys spoken word is so powerful speak over yourselves even reverse things like through the word through spoken word and the belief also the belief that you are powerful belief that what you say manifests i mean because it does right we always hear there's left there's life and death in the power of the tongue so it does so if you speak poorly about yourself that is not helping your situation but if you say i'm powerful and everything i say or speak manifests then say some things that you know need to return certain situations you saw that just orb oh my gosh and i'm seeing it oh uh, I, right as I said that, oh my God, rewind the video right now if you missed it. It just went right up here and I saw it right here with my actual eye. Most times I don't see it with my eye. I see it in the computer screen. It doesn't show up. Okay. <laughs> I can't even drink my coffee right now. And as I'm talking about spiritual warfare, let's bring it back real quick because I always lose sight of what I'm talking about when an orb comes through so yeah and i'm getting the little tinglys over my crown chakra 
Um, okay. That might need to be a separate reading. Let me know if that needs to be a separate reading in the comment section right now. Not everybody's being spiritual attacked, but if you feel like that is for you, let me know if that is for you. This is a good time for me to stop and say that a few people have emailed me and asked me for uh, the mini readings again. If you're interested in that, just put mini readings and I'll do that. Probably be a quicker intake of them so I don't get that many because um, I tend to get a lot if I leave... Um, if I leave it open for a week. So I think that I will do it on Thursday. If you guys are interested for a mini reading, they're $20 a question or $35 for two. I also have two phone readings available, two spaces for phone readings available um, for the rest of May, which would be, uh, I have four spaces. Actually, I think somebody just sent me a payment. So I think I have three spaces left um, for May 24th. And the 29th okay um, if you need a phone reading so those are the next days that I have available the last two Wednesdays of May are available <laughs> okay so wow um, so that's a lot there is always protection so my spirit guides was just was like you're protected if that is something that's happening you are protected there's always a sense of spiritual protection, but it doesn't mean that sometimes those things can't work, right? Because it's the belief that they work, that they work. But for you, the same way that whoever's doing anything to you believes that it can work and work, it's also the same thing that you could believe that it goes right back to them or you do that, you speak that, right? You say that, or you say that you are protected, right? Um, spiritual hygiene is very important. Spiritual protection is very important, right? Um, the book of Psalms is a book of spells. Okay. It's very protective as well. So get your hands on that. I actually have a book of Psalms, not the book of Psalms in the Bible, but I got a book with all the Psalms that correlate to different spells. I think you can get it on Amazon. Um, all right, let's go into your finances and see what's really going on. Maybe that'll tell us a little bit more. As I'm seeing this, I'm just want to say this at the bottom of the deck, take a pregnancy test this is at the bottom of the deck. And I've seen, a, I've been seeing a lot of y'all get pregnant. So I'm not surprised that that's peeping out a lot. Of, okay. Um, all right. <laughs> I saw I'm laughing because I saw somebody comment. Um, you got financial planner in the comment section the other day and asked me if, because I'm glowing. Am I expecting? I said, child, expecting what? <laughs> Girl, what? Okay, a gift of money. Talk about the Immaculate Conception. We got a gift of money. Okay, we got robbing Peter to pay Paul. Start investing. So you got financial planner, a gift of money, robbing Peter to pay Paul. That came out last week as well. Um, be careful with frivolous spending. Watch your spending habits. Also, if you're going to spend or do something with your money, research investing, research investing, start investing, get a financial planner or do your own planning. We have, it's not time to leave a job, not time to quite leave your job. All right. Give me more here. I feel like I want to pull them a little bit more today. Um, let's see here. Take a risk, it will pay off. And slave to your work, balance. So you may need to have some sort of um, work-life balance, right? Too much work is never a great thing, especially when it feels like work. Um, having some sort of work-life balance. Lottery win at the bottom of the deck. All right, let's take a look here for Aries finances. Let's pull... Give them an abundance oracle message here for the week ahead. What does Aries need to see, Spirit? Mm -hmm. Is that the only one that fell? Yeah. All right. What does Aries need to see here for the week ahead? What is the message here that Aries needs? What is it? What is the message here that Aries needs? Thank you so much for the week ahead. Holy Spirit, spirits, and angels, please allow me. Financial mess. 
Ooh, we got two that came out. Do the work and clearing debts. It says your self, um, your self care involves removing the heavy burden of financial and emotional debts from your life. You already feel lighter and freer just by facing this topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones as well. With do the work, it says it's not enough to dream or pray. You've also got to take the positive action steps that you are being divinely guided to take. Consistently making working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden. All right. Do the work. I'm receiving that for myself as well. There's some things I need to get done and I haven't been doing. We have cooperation instead of competition, raise our promotion and gratitude lists at the bottom of the deck. Can't use this because they're all over the floor. Let's see here. Let's use this sock right here. Tell me about Aries financial situation here for the week ahead. And so on for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus. All right, what do we have here for Aries? Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Some things are flipped around. All right. What's the main energy here for Aries finances this week ahead? main energy here for Aries finances queen of swords this could talk about discipline Aries um discipline research here getting some sort of information and protecting your finances as well um we're gonna go back to that tell me about any challenges Aries may be experiencing for this upcoming week will of fortune changes changes tell us about advice from spirit here five of five of wands that's that competition card um, cooperative cooperation instead of competition. Tell us about the outcome or in the near future here for Aries. Let's see. We got the world card and the high priestess. Why does this, this money message feels fine? This money, this financial message feels spiritual in nature because the ending or what's coming in the near future is the ending of a cycle and the high priestess about something that you don't see, something that is hidden spiritually. There's something happening. Five of wands could be an attack. The advice from spirit here, this could be needing to fight back. And I don't mean that as in sending anybody, anything like that. But I mean, as far as sometimes fighting back is protecting yourself. Acknowledging something is happening at the bottom of the deck is the ten of pentacles and the six of pentacles, six of swords and the five of pentacles. Five of Pentacles talks about lack and law. Six of Swords moving on to calmer water. Six of Pentacles, financial blessings. And then the Ten of Pentacles obviously is the bag, right? Three of Pentacles and the Magician here. Somebody definitely could be doing some sort of work on your finances or this could be somebody that you work with. Okay, let's get a little deeper into this. Let's see here. Tell me about the Queen of Swords energy. Oh, goodness. Okay. Uh, what is this Queen of Swords about? <laughs> is that me? <laughs> what, what is saying that? Okay. That's a different voice. Okay. Um, let's, let me just, I'm over here talking to myself and my spirit guides, guys. Just give me a second. Let me <laughs> clarify this. Yeah, that's what they said. <laughs> okay. So what I heard was that's the bitch that's doing it. And I was like, what? <laughs> what? Who is that? Okay. Saying that, like I'm hearing that that's the bitch that's doing it. And then look what came out. The high priestess and the justice card, strong Libra energy, strong Pisces energy. What fell out in my hand, King of cups, death card, will of fortune, seeing the ace of pentacles. So that's the bitch that's doing it. Um, somebody is going to be receiving some sort of karma or just you're receiving some sort of karma or justice for this situation. Mind you, the high priestess is in the beginning and the ending of the reading. 
right? The world card talks about a closure, an ending of a cycle or this high priestess, fake high priestess, spiritual work, spiritually transmitted disease, spiritually transmitted disease. What is that? Spiritually inflicting something on someone, right? That causes diseases, ailments, or within your finances, right? Um, so here we have this high priestess and the justice card. Pay attention to your in, your energy. I don't know why I want to say that. Pay attention to your intuition. Tell me one more here about this Queen of Swords energy. Tell me about this Queen of Swords, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. What was that that wanted to come out? The Ten of Wands. Somebody's trying to create burdens for you. Hard work, uh, difficulties, but it's coming to an end. Thank you. The Star. Okay, so there is healing. There is something that is being released and recognized and revealed is what I wanted to say. This is interesting because this is three major arcanas. This is very significant energy. The last two, two major arcanas, very significant. And then you have one more major arcana is the challenge. Now, the you only got two regular cards here that's describing a person, a person, spiritual person, bitter person. Um, in my head, I heard that's the bitch that's doing it. Okay, so... Uh, Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Page of Swords. Watching. Chariot. Chariot, Wheel of Fortune, and um, Page of Swords. The Sun. You keep getting a lot of major arcanas in this spread. Page of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Some of you could have been having difficulties starting new things. Things that you were supposed to be doing, okay? Like it was a part of your path, a part of your plan. Um, maybe you didn't even know it was a part of your plan. This is something that God had planned for you. And... I'm almost seeing somebody peer into your future, watching, spying on you and your future. So obviously they could be getting readings about you. Um, they could be, you know, searching, researching you, spying on you through spell work, tarot, things like that. And watching, seeing your future and it being bright and it being good or and particularly you having money coming towards you. Hmm. Tell me about the five of wands here. This is advice from spirit. Eight of wands. So there, so eight of wands is like energy going out messages, communication, five of wands, conflict, drama, um, fighting arguments. Like there's something positive coming out of a negative situation, or you're going to be receiving some sort of positive information messages out of this difficult situation tell me about this king of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy here somebody could have been very very wound up very mad that was a ten of wands that flipped and flipped back tell me about the five of wands the six of pentacles you need to emotionally you need to ground yourself aries yeah seven of cups Emotionally, that's the only thing that you need to really focus on is emotionally grounding yourself. Don't get yourself all scared, worry, up in the tizzy, right? I feel like something is going to be working itself out, whether you know it or not, whether you do it, anything or not. Tell me more about, tell me about the seven of cups. I'm looking at this snake on the seven of cups, six of swords. There could have been some sort of illusions or confusion about a situation, but there's going to be clarity with the Six of Swords. You're going to be moving on from this. You're going to be moving on from this situation. Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the High Priestess and this world card over here. Yep, thought so. Look at that. Three of Swords. Three of Swords. Funny that the Six of Wands flipped and flipped right back in the deck. So it almost feels like somebody felt like they got away with something successfully. And then it's kind of like, gotcha, bitch. No, you didn't. No, you won't. 
<laughs> think again. So this three of swords is clarifying this high priestess and this world card. Something is going to be coming to an end from somebody. I'm hearing reign of terror, reign of terror. So somebody could have been really trying to hurt or harm someone. I mean, this coming up in a financial reading definitely could have been around finances, right? Three of swords here, the high priestess and the world card, any type of painful situation or pain someone is inflicting is coming to an end especially spiritually tell me more tell me more and then the ten of cups then there's a happy ending then you know whatever you wanting wishing for whatever the wish fulfillment is three of pentacles expansion growth in your finances page of wands this could be opportunities um, exciting news messages here um, new beginnings in work yeah and the will of fortune things are changing will of fortune was in the challenge position so there was a cycle here that was very maybe it was stuck maybe it was slowed down oh goodness i have to take that in a second i'll call it back knight of swords here wanting to come out and the world card is coming out so just clarify it again the world clarifying the world. It's saying that this is coming to an end. This is coming to an end. The death card. This is coming to an end. It is coming to an end. And you're about to be able to go through some sort of transformation. What's coming through in, to an end? Somebody's secrets, occultism, whatever somebody was doing in the dark is about to come to an end. Oh, goodness. I'm seeing things. Okay. The moon card talks about what is being hidden, what is being done in the dark. What is being done at night, you know, is coming to an end. And I'm seeing the nine of wands and the devil here just wanted to fall out. Somebody could really be holding on to some sort of toxic energy. Five of pentacles here. Maybe you, uh, I don't know, maybe you, they felt like you abandoned them. You left out in the cold. Seven of pentacles. There was definitely delays in the finances at the bottom of the deck. Again, the devil. Tell me about this seven of pentacles. Tell me about the seven of pentacles seven of wands wow and the ten of swords somebody was really trying to delay something hurt you harm you make your investments not prosper or go bad or go down oh sorry guys i like my clothes uh wow So in the beginning, and I have to go back and watch it again, I do believe that the judication, right? Wasn't that about this energy, the judgment or something else? But I'm looking at all these cards again because I something made me pull these cards to clarify that. And this is this reading. Protection work is needed. Money due to uh, money decreasing due to bad habits or negative energy around you. Now, the Seven of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. This is the type of energy where somebody is going to, like, their bloodline is going to pay for whatever they're doing. Especially with all these major arcanas. Like, it may, like, I, especially with, look at this, in the Justice and the, the High Priestess, like, you do somebody, you hex somebody, you put spell work on them. Like it doesn't just always just not just like, oh, it goes back to you. It goes back to you. You could affect your bloodline by doing that to people or, you know what I'm saying? Um, when you are trying to hurt people who have no business being hurt, do things to people who haven't done anything to you. Things like, like, mm, cause I'm seeing a lot of karma, seeing a lot of karma. I'm seeing a lot of somebody's come their reign of i keep hearing that their reign of terror is coming to an end their reign of terror is coming to an end that could be the celebration energy process your feelings boundaries here are needed all right so let's move on to love person on your mind aries let's take a look at that Thirty nine eleven could be significant to someone here Let's see here. The person on your mind. This is about the person on Aries' mind and them. Aries and the person on their mind. Let's see what's going on. What do we have here for Aries? And the person on their mind. Let's see. Home and ghosted. 
comfort, safety, belonging, and shelter. Ghosted, disappear, silence, ignore, rejected. Ooh, heartbreak, hurt, betrayal, grief, disappointment. Please keep in mind, it's not going to be everybody's reading. This is for the person who needs the reading the most. We have divine intervention, serendipity, catalyst, supernatural, and karma. Supernatural and karma. Magnetic attraction. Soulmates here at the bottom of the deck. What is going on here? So home, comfort, safety, belonging, shelter, ghosted, heartbreak. But there's divine intervention, magnetic attraction. Before I pull the tarot, let me just sit with this for a minute. All right, I'm going to pull from this deck. One situation that I'm getting here is that somebody like could be pulling somebody from a happy home or from a home life. My computer screen just went black when I said um, I don't know. Let me just pull. Let me just pull and see what's going on. It's very interesting. All right. I just heard, but who ghosted who? I don't know what that's about. Maybe somebody accused you of ghosting them, Aries. Maybe they really ghosted you. I don't know, but I just heard, but who ghosted who? Tell me about love, passion. Oh, but who ghosted who? Stabbed in the back. So you got love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. You got passion, uh, insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. There's that magnetic attraction. But then you got stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, deception, separation, shocking attack. I want more. Let's see. <laughs> Give me more about the situation. Give me more. What is this about? What is this about? Two more. Thank you. That's exactly what I needed. All right. I don't know which way to turn this. Okay. So I'm just going to put them both upright. But you got not today, not dealing hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, person, boundaries, and still angry. And then you got paradise, happiness, expansion, joy playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Is the honeymoon phase over or is, or is, is the honeymoon phase over or does somebody interfere within two people who were having a honeymoon phase? Let's see here. What's going on in this situation here, spirit? What's going on here? Home. What is this about here? Ace of Swords. We've got the Ace of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. There's that bitch again, huh? <laughs> Tell me more. Tell me more. What's going on in this situation? Two of Swords. Just what I was thinking. Just what I was thinking the first time. Mm -hmm. All right. Page of Cups. Tell me about this Page of Cups. This is advice from the Spirit here. Hermit. Mm. Tell me about outcome. Ten of Cups. Happiness. Love. This feels like Three of Cups here. Queen of Swords. Somebody delaying something. Getting in the way of something. Somebody getting in the way of a new beginning. Somebody getting in the way in a new beginning, a new life, delaying something because she's mad, because she's upset. I'm just using she. It could be a man, okay, Um, who's mad, who's pissed off, who's, I had my thumb up that time, who's mad, pissed off, 
um, angry. So they're blocking a new beginning. They're blocking, they could be blocking a new beginning. They could be blocking not even a new beginning, just a situation that was already going on. You understand? Like maybe you were already in a relationship with someone and this third party came in to disrupt uh, a, a, a significant relationship. I don't know how they could have done it or what they have, could have done. I'm not going to speculate on that part, but it seems like somebody stepped in front of somebody's, I want to say good judgment, better judgment. Now you can't fault somebody, a grown adult, right? For not making good judgment unless we already know, right? What that could be. Um, but I was hearing a lot of, uh oh, like downstairs. I'm like, what song is that? It's like they wanted me to hear that song and I couldn't, couldn't make it out. But there's like divine intervention. This almost feels like a reconciliation reading. Okay. This feels like a reconciliation reading where somebody stepped in the middle of two divine counterparts, people who were supposed to be together. And it worked for the time being. Okay. It worked, but somebody was heartbroken when they realized that they broke the heart of the person that they truly loved. And there's something here about, about divine intervention, bringing you two back together. Okay. That's the gist. That's what I was getting. As soon as the Oracle messages hit the table, I just wanted to make sure this is what this was saying. And that's definitely what it looks like. But there was this element of being stabbed in the back. So I don't know if did your person do that Aries. Tell me about this Knight of wands, page of swords in reverse. And the four of wands, yeah, there was a happy home. There was a happy home. There's somebody here who was very sexually motivated, very sexually driven, only using sex to manipulate here. Page of swords here, maybe even spying, stalking someone. Tell me about the page of swords here in reverse. Ace of cups. This feels like doing anything. This feels like backdooring someone, okay? This feels like doing anything that they can to get somebody to have a new beginning with them. Excuse me. Tell me about the two of swords. Tell me about the two of swords, six of swords. Somebody was confused. There was some sort of emotional blockage. Somebody was confused, but they're moving on from that. Now they're seeing things clearly. They're moving on from that. It definitely could be spell work. Tell me about the page of cups, the king of cups. The hermit, somebody's, somebody's feelings and emotions have grown fonder for you during the breakup or during the break or while they were away. Now they're hurting bad with the 10 of swords, realizing the betrayal, right? The hangman. Yep. Realizing the betrayal. The hangman is coming to a realization. The 10 of swords here, king of cups, seven of pentacles. What could have been what if they would have invested here, the hermit again, but they pulled away and the queen of pentacles. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy here could have had some not great motives of why they pulled away. Um, tell me about the 10 of cups, like financial reasons and being bought and you know, selling coochie or D you know what I'm saying? Either, or we have the world card, we have the 10 of cups and we have the justice. So there is justice being served and something is coming to an end. The closure of a cycle, eight of wands, you're going to receive communication. The, uh, ooh, the devil energy here came in reverse. Somebody is like whatever control that somebody has somebody under is about to come off. Queen of swords. There it is again. That's who we started with. Queen of swords. Um, if somebody has somebody under some sort of control, five of wands, they're going to be very angry. That doesn't always have to be like spell work, right? It could be manipulation. It could be, you know, you know, somebody could just have somebody under some sort of mind control. We got the five of wands and the fool. Somebody is breaking free. Somebody is go ghosting a situation. We have ghosted or ghosting, ghosted. Somebody could be coming back after they ghosted you. 
Now that is, that, look, I'm just telling you what's going to happen. That is your decision whether or not you take someone back or not. Ghosting is emotional manipulation and emotional abuse, you know? So that is completely on you. If you take somebody back that ghosts you, no matter what the reason is, but you don't want to create some sort of toxic cycle yourself. Um, but I do see if somebody tried to break up something or someone or two people hmm. let's see, look let's take a look for the single Aries who are not connected to anyone somebody intentionally somebody intentionally tried to break two people up all right I'm gonna leave that alone I'm gonna keep hearing that they were jealous they were jealous okay so what I'm seeing okay I think not gonna let me leave it alone so this clearly has to be somebody who knew or saw you two together. Somebody was jealous of the connection or the relationship that you had with someone. And they're realizing that it can't, it couldn't be duplicated. It was your chemistry. It was your magnetic attraction to someone or the chemistry that you had with somebody that created the relationship that you had with that person. And somebody was jealous of that. Maybe how you interacted with said person, how y'all did things, how y'all communicated to each other, how y'all felt about each other. But and, they wanted it for themselves, not knowing that it was your two energy intertwining together that made that type of chemistry and connection so they couldn't have it for themselves. I do believe that the person who left and got tricked or bamboozled, or even if it was spell work, they feel stupid for allowing themselves to be under some sort of influence because they realized they couldn't have what they had with you with anybody else. So that was a mouthful. All right, I guess they wanted me to go there. All right, so let's take a look here. So this heartbroken could definitely be the person that goes to do bluffing, leaving a happy home. We have magnetic attraction and divine intervention. Something is about to go down. Something is about to go down. Somebody, they're going to get some sort of karma. And it even says that on the card, karma. Catalyst, serendipity, supernatural for something that they did. All right. Okay. All right. It's over. Okay. Let's see here. For Aries who are single and ready to mingle, what is coming towards these Aries? No. Not ready to mingle, just single. You got destiny, luck, chance, meant to be. Something is faded. A union, a union is coming in. Wow, okay. Uh, friendship, you guys could be friends first before lovers, or you could also have friends that come in, or friends could be an obstacle, okay? Obstacles, blo blocks, pathways, and delays. But then you also got passion, passion. Okay, so you got destiny. You got destiny. Luck, chance, meant to be. Union. Re serious relationship, marriage, partnership, friendship. Friends that turn to lovers, friends, acquaintances, networking. You got obstacles. Obstacles, blocks, pathways, and delays. And then you got passion. Passionate connection with someone. Passionate feeling. Chemistry. Let's see, destiny. Let's take a look. What is this about here, spirit? Thank you. Let's see, destiny, fate, karma, meant to be. Something is going to happen. It's faded. It's meant to happen. Um, justice can be karma. Things that are going to happen that are meant to happen. It also could be something that you deserve, balancing out such energies or energies, energies. Tell me about the union. Page of Pentacles. Could be a proposal, but it also could be the energy of meeting someone new who's going to offer you a commitment that is going to grow. Tell me about friendships. It could start out, oh, I could have started out as a friend. Yes, that's the truth. Ace of Swords, Page of Swords. Started with some sort of friendly communication, okay? Somebody was watching you, checking you out, you know, wanting, seeking more information until they got the courage and nerve to work, walk up to you and communicate with you, talk to you, and started some sort of new friendship, some sort of new relationship. Tell me about the obstacles. What are the obstacles? The two of wands. It could be another person or a decision that you have to make that's very difficult for you to make. With the ten of wands, there could be some... So the Ten of Wands and the Two of Wands could be somebody needing to make a decision about baggage that they have, whether that's you or them. 
and this could be delaying things. Tell me about the passion. Passion, the chat, the, uh, the tower was about to come out. Tell me about the passion. Queen of Cups. So it's not just passion, it's also love. But whoever this person is that you really love, you're going to have a lot of chemistry with. A lot of chemistry, a lot of passionate feelings and connections. Tell me more about that. Yes, and it's real. Okay, Spirit is saying it's real. Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. So when you see the Ace of Pentacles, this is something that's real, that's tangible. So when we're talking about it in the sense of love, it means that this person, how they're going to love you is going to be real in the sense that what they say to you, they're going to mean it and they're going to back it up with actions, like real actions, what they do, how they commit to you. See the Queen of Wands energy here, the Ace of Pentacles could also be a marriage proposal or somebody proposing a commitment of love, like they mean it, right? That's the same, that pinnacle is the same pinnacle this person is holding here with the union. Clarify the union here. You could not quite be, sh you could not be quite sure if you want to accept it with the four of cups, but this person is going to be very determined to be in a relationship with you because they are seeing that this is something that could be very successful. They're wanting to go the distance. It could be something about traveling, traveling or meeting somebody at a distance relocating um that always oh, that keeps coming up lately tell me about the faded page of cups meeting someone a new love new emotions here the justice card here queen of pentacles queen of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn energy but this is more about commitment this is more about somebody wanting to commit to someone king of wands very passionate energy one person is very very passionate very very fiery um seven of pentacles this is somebody that you can invest with in in a relationship a connection here but the seven of wands tell me about the seven of wands this is the obstacles somebody's trying to block this situation or will be trying to block this situation uh tell me about obstacles over here the fool i feel like you will get through these obstacles and barriers seven of cups and the lovers Woo. Somebody's going to be very much in their head about the situation, but the energy, the chemistry is going to pull you together. Temper and spirit is saying to be patient. Take your time. Tell me about the friendship card. What is this about? High Priestess and the King of Swords. There is a, a connection spiritually between you two that you're going to recognize um that you're going to be able to see or feel very clearly it's not it's like you won't be able to deny it uh with this person okay so that's what i have for you guys i hope that you've enjoyed the reading and take care